used the wrong font size to uh, print my speech. So I hope I won't have to add that here too much. Good evening, I'm Andrew Schneider. I hope you can hear me in the back. Thank you to each of you for being here this evening. A special thanks to the Arlington Young Democrats for hosting and to my fellow candidates for what has been so far a very fun and collegial campaign. <clears throat> I've been looking forward to this evening for several weeks and I'm delighted to be here amongst you. This evening marks the beginning of a new chapter in the campaign. A chapter that sees the end of the early jockeying and maneuvering to a more public and thought-centered focus through debates, community forums, and what seems like apparently an endless stream of questionnaires. <laughs> it is fitting that we start this chapter before our young Democrats, not because of the youth that you represent, but because of the energy and vibrancy and foundation foundation that you provide to our party and to our county. Indeed, I saw this passion last summer as a candidate for state delegate and got to meet and compete against so many of you. I met many of you again last summer and fall when we worked together to elect Alan Howes in November. And I hired a young dem, the amazing Brian Enright, to serve as my campaign manager. It is also fitting that we start our debate season here with younger voters because not only do you represent the foundation and the energy of our party, but also the future of Arlington County. Over 40% of our electorate is in the millennial generation. Now, I've been fortunate to have been raised in Arlington, to have benefited from our public schools, to have had the opportunity to buy my first home here in the county. I'm fortunate that when Susan and I chose where to raise our young family, that we had the opportunity to buy a home here. I hope that my story can be your story and that you will stay in Arlington, raise your families here, and that we can continue to shape Arlington futures, Arlington's future together. I know that this is easier said than done. I knock on a lot of doors, and I hear this every single day. I'm not sure I will ever be able to buy a house in Arlington. I've talked to teachers who live in a group house so they can live near where they work, and I talk to retirees and the elderly who are concerned that their children and grandchildren won't be able to live in the Arlington with, that we live in when they raise their families. I'm committed to working and to utilizing every available resource to continue to make sure Arlington is such an amazing place to live, work, and raise a family. Just yesterday, I listened to my friend Anish Chopra discuss ways that innovation and technology can fundamentally alter what is possible in both the private and public sectors. I'm proud to have Anish's support and the support of so many of you in the room. As you know, Arlington is a great place to live. For decades, we have been the leader in so many different areas, from civil rights, to housing, to education, to smart growth, and the environment. I stand here before you as a proud, strong, liberal Democrat, and I will work hard every day on your behalf and to earn your vote. Thanks for having me. <laughs> 